Okay, so what I did is I got this LED bar, came with a wiring harness, has a relay here. So your relay hooks up to the positive, goes through fuse, goes into the relay, you gotta hook up your negative also to the relay. And then it's got power coming out. I stuck that down through this hole, came down through here, and then I just butt splice it right in. I actually cut, the lead was like six feet, cut it down to two feet. Then you got three wires coming out of the relay for the switch. I cut my positive and negative, don't need those on this side. You just need the signal wire. Um, this is going to be your positive coming back from the switch back to your relay to open the relay to turn the light on. So there's these four wires that come through the firewall. You really only need to match up one of them. I got another LED bar for the back for when I'm backing into the garage. I'm going to hook up to another one in a bit. But for now, cut those, don't need them. Signal wire goes through the firewall. Comes down through here, through the firewall. There's the other couple back here. And there's actually a bunch of, there's a bunch. And I don't know why they do this, but I think it's for other stuff. So I got my signal wire. Signal wire comes to my switch. Right now I got the lights on. That's what it looks like when it's off. Uh, so for positive and negative, I spliced into my headlights. So headlights are actually off right now, but my LED is on just because I got power coming from the ignition to this switch to turn it on. And so I got negative to negative and then I got positive to positive here. It's this top pin. That's the one you want to connect to guys. Orientation top. That's the one you need. That's the key. So if I turn, I leave my light on, turn my switch off, you'll hear everything will stay on for a minute. Headlights will go out. I'll even turn on the headlights here for a second so you guys can see everything. Everything's on. Now this is what I really like about it. You'll see your display is still on for a bit. Your headlights are off, but your LED bar is on. That's gonna stay on until your display turns off. So you got some time now, I think, I don't know, I didn't time it out, was it 15, 20, 30 seconds? You got some time to grab your stuff, get out of the cab, if you're in your garage when it's dark or it's dark out, whatever. You got some time, that will turn off like that. Switch is still on. No power to the switch anymore. Display is dead. You can do whatever you want and it won't kill your battery. That's how you guys do it.